Hey folks, you, Mr. Modern Survival here. Going to do a really quick video today on probably the uh, the most robust and rugged, uh, ruggedly reliable rifle on planet Earth, and that is the SKS. Uh, most of you are very familiar with this rifle uh, in its various forms, uh, and they're basically all the same with some minor variations. Uh, this one is a Norinco, which is Chinese made. And they catch a lot of flack from a lot of guys, but I happen to have had a lot of very good service from the Norinco rifles. I think they're great. If you don't like them, uh, that's your problem. I think they work good. Um, this one has a synthetic stock, uh, obviously, that it probably did not come with. Uh, but uh, as it's seen now, it has a, a, an aftermarket stock, which makes it a little bit lighter, makes it a little bit more friendly to use. But uh, other than that, um, this is pretty much uh, one of the most simple uh, rifle platforms on planet Earth. You used to be able to get them cheap. You can't get them cheap anymore. Um, but, you know, that's life. Uh, if you can get one for less than 300 bucks, you're probably doing really, really good. And they're worth every penny. They're very rugged, uh, very reliable. Uh, they, come with a, they come with a standard 10-round uh, box magazine. It is not detachable. It's fixed in place. Uh, as you can see right there in the video, uh, safety is uh, very, very simple. It just basically blocks off. Um, the uh, trigger it does not block the firing pin and so that's uh, you know guys have issues with that But it's all right doesn't bother me that bad uh, very very nice rifle now uh, some of some of you may want to uh, sort of uh, upgrade this tactically speaking and add a detachable Magazine this is a 20 round Tapco detachable magazine Very nice Tapco makes some pretty good stuff and I like these these are tough uh, you can just about run them over with a pickup truck and they'll, they'll continue to work. Uh, and I want to show you really quickly how to do that. Very, very simple. It only takes just a couple minutes. These are very simple rifles. And uh, every any prepper, survivalist, uh, or just gun enthusiast should have a couple of these laying around somewhere. So uh, let me show you really quickly. The only tool that you're going to have to have is either a, uh, a nail set or a punch of some sort, or in our case, just an old Craftsman flathead screwdriver. You really don't have to have anything. Now, one thing you're going to want to do is lock the, uh, the bolt to the rear, which it's automatically going to do with the, uh, with the uh, empty 10-round uh, magazine. Next thing you're going to want to do is put the rifle on safe. If the bolt is not open and the rifle is not on safe, the trigger group will not detach and come off. That's all you have to do. Flip the rifle over. over. I want you to notice down here there's a button. You see that little divot right there? What you're going to want to do is, is take your screwdriver or your punch and apply some very firm pressure to that. Now, depending on how much your rifle has been used, that's going to depend on how easy or how difficult it is to, uh, to release this. So, uh, let's check this one out really quick. Come back over here and let's watch this. Very, just, just firm pressure, not, not a punch or a, a shock, just basically like that. And see how that fell through. Basically, when it gives up, it really gives up. There's the trigger group. Trigger group is now out. And by the way, this would be a good time to clean all this up and oil it really well before you put it back in there. So the trigger group is out, um, and basically the stock is going to come off. You don't have to take the stock off to do what we're doing here with the magazine, but if you ever want to change your stock, that's how you do it. So we're going to push that right back on there. You reach up in here, take the box magazine out, it's got a latch right here. You see how dirty that is? It'd be a good time to clean this rifle up. Uh, it just basically rocks out of that position. You're going to lay that to the side. Uh, you're not going to put the new magazine in because obviously it's going to be a detachable magazine. And the train whistle's blowing, but pay no mind to that. Uh, next, the trigger group's going to go right back in. Very, very simple. Very simple. Uh, you've got two pins on either side of the trigger group right here. See those? Now, I want you to look right here. If you'll look right there, you'll see where those two pins go inside of these. Let me get my pointer. The two pins are going to stick right back in there, just like so. And then your trigger group's going to rock back in place. Now, same way with, uh, go ahead and back up. The same way with, uh, with uh, when, you, when you release the trigger group, you want to apply some very firm pressure to push that back into place. And there we go. Now, your bolt should slide freely to the front. You shouldn't have any friction. It shouldn't be very difficult. Lock your bolt back to the rear. Remember on an SKS, the magazine 
will not go in uh, or out for that matter unless the bolt is locked to the rear. That's one of the things that some guys don't like about it. But there we go. The uh, SKS now has a detachable TAPCO uh, magazine. This is a 20 rounder. You can get 30 rounders, you can even get 40 rounders, and I'm sure some stupid wear, somebody has got uh, bigger ones that are absolutely useless in my opinion, but here we have, uh, uh, we've tac you know, tactically upgraded this weapon, where we ha now have the ability to have detachable magazines in our vest or our web gear, and uh, and we've got a cheaper rifle that, uh, that works really good. So uh, Some of you probably already knew how to do this, maybe some of you didn't, but... Uh, I hope you I hope you learned something. If not, I hope you enjoyed the videos. Stay safe, keep prepping, and God bless.